Guinea, where President Alpha Conde has been hosted by the military. The following the Ecowas has been working at restoring civilian rule in the West African country. In a statement, President Hichilema has also said that the UPND administration condemns the unconstitutional takeover of power in Guinea. He has explained that Zambia has won as one of the architects of the African Union AU Charter on unconstitutional takeover of power uh, does not support any form of unconstitutional change. The president has further committed Zambia to regional, continental and international solidarity in calling for restoration civilian rule in Guinea. The president's statement has been availed to ZNBC News by his special assistant and spokesperson Anton Walia. Vice President Mtalina Lumango says the date swap for civil servants has been suspended to allow government to assess the program. And Mrs. Nalumango stated that Zambia is a Christian nation and that the new Dawn administration will therefore not adopt any gay rights. She was speaking in Parliament today uh, during the Vice President's Question Time. Sharon Kunda now reports. And we have therefore... This is a maiden Vice President's Question Time in Parliament. Vice President Mutalena Lumango attended to various questions, ranging from the civil servants' debt swap initiative, the impending presidential trip to the UN in New York, and the free education policy. The Vice President confirmed the suspension of the debt swap to allow for a thorough assessment. This program came very late into the reign or the, the rule of our colleagues in the Patriotic Front. That it seemed like it was not even going to work. If we followed what was happening, Madam Speaker, uh, the Bankers Association themselves didn't seem to be ready for this. And you even wonder, Madam, whether anything was done at all. In July, there was, the program was not done for the civil servants. And it is a very complicated thing that we have suspended as a government so that we can really look at that. And Mrs. Nalumango has appealed to Zambians to be patient as they wait for the effects of the appreciation of the kwacha to trickle down. The appreciation of the kwacha is one thing. It does not take care of, for example, things that were imported into the country at a very dollar cost. And therefore, what will happen, what should happen is gradually, as the stock that was important at, uh, imported at high cost goes down or finishes, the new imports start coming in definitely the people of Zambia will benefit because the goods and the services also will start uh, going, the cost will start going down. As regards the first presidential trip to the United States of America, as asked by leader of the opposition in the House, Brian Mundubile, Mrs. Nalumango said the undertaking is a serious priority. Because as the president goes, he will surely be meeting with investors and we need them if we have to grow the economy. He is going to meet with IMF for us to be able, when we are thinking of restructuring the economy, we need the IMF to give confidence and comfort to the, the people from whom we have borrowed. The, the vice president also announced that government has in the meantime halted civil service recruitments, transfers and promotions to better understand and realign positions in the newly created and merged ministries. Mrs. Nalumango also said the country will not be adopting gay rights owing to its culture and Christian status. Sharon Kunda, ZNBC News, Lusaka.
Agriculture Minister Mtolo Pui says government has dispatched 1.2 million empty grain bags of the purchase of maize under the Food Reserve Agency FRA. The Minister of Agriculture was responding to a question by Chinsali Member of Parliament, Kalali Wemokosa, during a question for oral answer in Parliament. The Chinsali lawmaker